few kind of loyalists. Um, uh, Geppetto, Katetto, Kate, K Katetto, please. Oh, I'm so, I am so sorry, Kate, f f the, the artist formerly known as Kate Point, for butchering your name in this set, but I'll try my best. Right out the gate, you see these guys jump back and forth. A lot of the Buster Arts are going to come in handy, of course, as Shulks are wanted to do. He's already thrown out Buster. He wants that extra present on board, but the problem is, is that if uh, Katetto does manage to just kind of find that avenue, you're going to take a lot of it. And man, this guy is quick, changing like it's nobody's business. And that's kind of the name of Shulk. You have to quick draw. You have to kind of maneuver yourself. You have to be really, really careful and smart running around from, from speed to jump. You always want to have something active because it, it's always a good benefit and it always keeps your opponent on their toes with those little kind of crazy mix-ups. And he's just playing very patient, but that command grab coming in nice, not getting sniped by shot puts at all along the way. And a nice uh, air slash two. I think it's air slash. Air slash to kind of come out on top. Very close percentages so far, we'll say. Bust Arts coming out as well to get some percentage on Katetto. And yeah, that, that is the name of the game of Shulk. You were just going to need to space with those. Like, even if you parry, like, what are you going to do? What is me Brawler going to do? The very short, you know, very short attack range. So what can you do if Shulk is very properly spacing these out and keeping Katetto on her toes? Jump. Monado are coming out. Just the quick, uh, the future vision, because he's like, I don't know if the shot put's going to hit me. But he's managed to avoid them all the same. Those, yeah, see, those down Bs are very risky because with that end lag, Katetto can just, like, walk up, get a smash, punish that. Speaking of Smash, Smash Art is coming out. Comes out. Let's see how long it can go. He would have gotten the kill, but that beautiful, beautiful shot put from Katetto manages to interrupt him and give Katetto the edge to get back safely, and that's so, so good. Me Brawler is a very tricky character. Has a lot of tricks, you know, with the, also with those, you know, customizable moves. You never know what what the Me Brawler or, me, you know, the other Mii's as well can really bring to the table. That shot put, again, just a nice little diversion to kind of cover Katetto's options. And Shield Art coming out in just kind of a panic, as in, like, what do I do? I need to find some avenue. I need to find something that works for me. You know, Smash Art as well, as in, I need to secure this kill. And you can see that Xenos just wants that option. Finally, with that forwarder from center stage with Smash Art, he does the trick. Gets it back in action. Now it's two socks apiece, but uh, Katato still just, like, has a kind of clean advantage and happy to run away with it. All right. Yeah, no, Katato. Kate, Kate. Katato? Katato. I really want to say Kate Katato. Yeah, see, that's the problem, but it's like. Katato, Katato. I'll, I'll get it done, like Stiletto. Yeah, okay. like, I, th I thought like Geppetto, but that's besides the point. That's good. I pronounce it Geppetto. All right, well, you know what? Okay, whatever. All right, anyway, all right. Katetto, so, hopefully, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry, uh, K-Point slash KD Day if, if we messed up. We'll talk it out after the set. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll duke it out. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, no, Katetto doing well into this matchup, and, like, Xeno is kind of... Oh, that didn't connect. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that command grab kind of hits the sword, but you're not nearby because Shulk has just such long, huge range on him. It's like, well, kind of have to get around it. All right. So I played Xeno multiple times in the past, and I think the biggest issue his Shulk has, he's playing too honest. You he, need to BM your opponents. You yeah, he's been using a lot of uh, the, the vision, the, the counter attack, mm -hmm. and that has been actually to his detriment. That's how he lost his first stock, because he's just kind of going aggressive with that. Mm -hmm. and it's like, well, you got to be really careful with that, bro. Yeah. Well, like, it's kind of like his game plan is kind of like, ooh, I didn't Shot even see kills at 200%. Shot yeah, that'll do it, especially on jump. Makes you fly away just a bit faster. Yeah, I mean, but you had a lot of mileage out of the socket. 200%. And now it's Shulk's turn, as in he has a lot. Whoa, he, I was like... Did he if he got sniped the down there, yeah, he, he might have not have been able to... Actually, no, he could have switched jump. And then yeah, but he didn't have a jump down there, so that's really scary. Sure. That air dodge down was sus, just kind of mm -hmm. running into the multi-jab. And you can see now that Zeno is just, like, scrambling for an option. He's just like, give me a good button. Give me the I win button. I need it. Like, you're scrambling on a character that, like, at high percent specifically, because he can dial out into shield and, like... Essentially, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the gate combos, to yeah. a degree. Yeah, it just gets caught out with that jump. That backer does the trick for Kate, for Kateta, uh, for Kateto. Kateto. Game one, man, this is, this is rough. But hey, I'm not rough for her. Mm -hmm. She gets that win, gets that dub. Yeah, Zeno's like game plan is kind of like written all over like which Monado art he switches to, to a degree. Shield, he wants to stay alive. You know, yeah. speed jump or jump obviously to recover. You don't really want to just be throwing it out, especially on a stage like Stadium. Speed. Drive by near your opponent, fish for like a dash grab in case like you just empty hop and then just grab. Yeah, uh, and, and then that's really the thing is like you need to mix it up. Yeah. Shulk, you need to press those buttons, you need to press them fast. I like how fast you be seeing those form changes, but at the same time he's not really making the best of them. Like he's, and you're, that, that's you're pressing thing. the B button really fast. Yeah. But like between like the neutral layers and the four layers, I like, I just didn't see it from what I saw. Yeah, he needs to be a little bit more, I, you know, not as many grabs mm -hmm. in there as like, and that's the thing, like you want to space the Shulk, but eventually like if they're just going to hold shield the whole time, you got to get in there. Yeah. That's a good mix up. And while Buster does increase your shield damage, I mean, you still, again, like we didn't really see him abusing it that much. And like Shulk has some nasty like low percent like down throw follow-ups out of Buster. You get a grab, down throw F2 for like 30%. It's kind of insane. 
Yeah. So he's going speed already. We already know, yeah, there's a drive by fair, neutral air. He's just like looking. He's trying to like close the gap on Kateto. Yeah, and Town's an interesting pick. I can see Shulk liking this because it's like, cool, small blast zones. I can just kind of run around from left to right, take you coast to coast, mm -hmm. kill you really early with Smash Art if I need it. Mm -hmm. See, there's that shield art we've been seeing. A lot of back airs coming in as well, just to kind of mm -hmm. poke Kateto out. Right. See, there's, the there's, yeah, there's the grab that we were talking about. It's like you finally find some pressure. The mixing up with the Monado Arts is very good, but not really finding too many hits. There we go. He had to write a deal of uh, chasing the Tetris out in speed, looking for the neutraler, but it wasn't going to connect. It actually pushes her off there. That's kind of true. Smash, wild. if he catches him with the. Oh, no. I would just got the forward air. Just take yeah, the flash water. Forward air might have done the trick. That is <laughs> so risky with Smash Art, but not the correct hit you want. There's jump. That's pretty punishable as well. There you go. Get Kateto off stage, but nice. We're using that platform to kind of get back safely. You see, I'm not sure what these counters are yeah, really doing for Xeno at the moment. It's like, you're not near me. It's so much harder to uh, shadow iframe and use that momentum from Smash 4. You can do it in Smash 4 really easily, just preferable. But you can't really use it to close a gap now off a of projectile. So I don't know, again, what he's going for there. Like, sure, yeah. oh, man. if anything, it would set him up for a punish. Yeah, Kateto you can see hyping that. herself up there. Go yeah. to barely live. Get resets or jumps on the platform. That is so good. And Smash Art not doing it for Xeno. You know, I love when people are in the player game, like feeling themselves, like feeling the music that they listen to, and like. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, Xeno has some momentum of his own, going in there, getting yeah. that stock. But yeah, he's going speed, but he's kind of using it just to run. Yeah, he's like, not using it to like kind of mix up his approach yeah. options. There, he's he's finally going aggressive. Finally got some percentages on the board, but hey, that forward tilt did so much, man. Yes. And Katana's now kind of throwing out counters of her own as well. He goes into shield, catches him. It's not even a percent where he's like gonna die. So by the time it comes back, if Kateto is able to press her advantage, then like he might be at percents where like you know, with how explosive Brawler can be sometimes, just yes. like that, he might have actually just lost the stock off it. Now was that Uppy? That was Uppy. Yeah, it's it's so hard to remember for the maze. Very rare characters, but still, you know, they do have really interesting traits. Forward Smash does a lot of damage, but since it's not Smash and it's from center stage, it's not gonna be enough. We got a nice little air dodge to the uh, platforms, making sure to reset her jump so she can make it back safely. Shield, she's shield, just pummel, just take the damage. But now she's right out. That down throw almost did it. High recovery going over the top. Kateto not finding an avenue with those smash oh, attacks. Drop, drop shield, shield too early. <sighs> no, what? Whoa! That's a quick wombo combo for you, but at 187%, Xeno's still living. How are you still living? Floaty? I don't know. I can't. Like, buff Brawler. I no, say that, no, I say that very lightly, but. Please do not. <laughs> But finally, those back airs, Kateto was just fishing for them, and Xeno was not having it. But eventually, it's like, you're going to have to run it eventually. Counters the um, counters the up tilt, but because it isn't smash, it does less straight percentage damage and more knockback. doesn't actually get much accomplished. Chasing her deep. That was a kind of a risky air slash, but not punished, fortunately, for Xeno. He has to find something to even up this game really quickly, or else he's going to find himself in the loser's bracket. Ooh, oh, that roll into the shot put. That's going to hurt. That's, that's an Olympian thing, so like you know that's going to hurt. She's swinging. All right, there's Smash. There's nice, the Fortale. catches her. Forward air, I'm sorry. Yeah, forward air, just, that's such a, like a fat button. It's like, cool, catch everything. And of course, Kateto didn't want to recover high. You know, Xeno noticing that she's been using the side beast so much. It's like, cool, I'm just going to hit you and you're going to die because it's Smash Art. This is a nice little late in there. And there's that recovery with the uh, jump air slash. Yeah, nice roll behind. Kateto trying to find something. Him, right, no, catches no, no the jump, got to press your advantage. Switch. This could be it. Oh. oh my goodness, that was so good, but unfortunately couldn't find that last hit. And with Smash Art on board, like he's gonna find himself in the Shadow Realm, unfortunately. And find himself, of course, in loser's bracket as well. Kateto takes the 2-0. Yeah, no. So Oh it, man, that last exchange he had it. I see yeah, it was so good. Caught the jump, he was in speed, you just had to run her down, press advantage, and she did, but then like he risked it all on the um the down air. Which is, is very risky. But then I feel like if he had like switched to jump and just let loose like a neutral because it starts behind yeah. him and under. It, it and catches like everything forward. in a fat arc. And this, like I feel like he used the smash arts not to the best of his ability. And he was going a little bit too reckless with them. And more often than not, it hurt him with the smash arts. 